Oh, it's hot rod time. We got 1932 Ford Vicky. Uh, 350 motor, 350 automatic trans, just a cool hot rod, cruises nicely at 60 miles an hour, and it's going to turn everybody's heads when you're doing it. Go to volocars.com, that's where you can read all the information, take your time and look at about 100 photos, top to bottom of this car. That's where you'll also find the price tag along with a monthly finance option. That's at volocars.com. If you enjoy our video, subscribe to the YouTube channel, click on the bell icon, and you'll be notified when the new videos are posted. But for right now, join me. Let's go for a spin. There's about six or 7,000 miles uh, only on this car since it's been built. You can see the frame. That's the frame right there. So the frame and chassis and underside is all painted that color. Um, it's got chrome Trailing arms in front with a transverse leaf spring, chrome shocks in front. It's got disc brakes in front with stainless braided uh, hoses. Uh, in back, it has tubular control arms, but they're uh, painted this yellow color. Uh, coilover adjustable shocks in the back. It has a composite gas tank back here. Uh, some nice sounding dual exhaust that you'll hear towards the end of the video. Got like little mini Flowmaster mufflers. Um, you look up at the motor and the trans. They have finned aluminum uh, oil pans on them. And like I said, it's a turbo 350 automatic. It also has an external oil cooler for the transmission. Uh, it's a Ford rear end in the back. Uh, there is a uh, a disc or a lead uh, for the battery. If you ever need to jump start it to get in, there is a lead underneath there. So let's check out the body. Yeah, it's the Vicky. It's a Victoria. That's the two-door sedan with kind of the hump back right here. Really cool looking style, very classic style. Uh, this all looks to be in really good shape. Uh, the side of the hood, you can see, obviously, is cut open. It lets cool air in there and gets to show off your motor. It's got the 32 grill shell on the front. The body's looking really nice. It's straight. Actually, it's all very straight. Little, little ripply up in the very middle, or maybe they could have sanded and blocked it a little bit better. This all looks great. There's no door handles. There's a remote popper for the doors. The glass is replaced. The front windows are power. I think the back ones are stationary. Yeah, I don't see any damage in the body, no cracking. This blue is gorgeous in person. I'm telling you, it's a nice, deep, metallic blue. It sparkles when the light hits it. It's a gorgeous blue. And then you have the, uh, the yellowish-orange color with the pinstripe breaking it up, the bright green, apple green. This is all looking really nice. This 32 right here. Uh, the spreader bar has the brake and turn signals mounted right into it. They're LED lights. Yeah, billet gas cap. Yeah, this is all looking really nice. I'm not seeing any issues. I'm not avoiding them. I just am not finding any. And then you got the flame job going on there, the old nostalgic V8 logo. All cool stuff. Here's uh, two little chips right here. Must have caught a rock or something. Yep, paint's looking really slick. That's all I found. So sharp looking car. The wheels, uh, polished torque thrust wheels, obviously much bigger in the back, you know, typical hot rod style. These are 17 inch, they're much wider. In front, I'm gonna guess these are 15, and yes, they are. They also need to wipe a little of the polish off. My guy must have been polishing them and didn't wipe all the stuff off. Uh, looks like some custom headlights in there. Spreader bar up front has the LED turn signals. All right, let's open it up. We'll give you a tour of the inside. Really does have an outstanding paint job. The door panels, you can see it's custom embossed with the V8 logo and some nice pattern. There's the power window switches. The dash is painted and pinstriped real nice. 
Yeah, a few basic toggles for things like the wiper motor and I think electric fan. Uh, it has a billet instrument panel here with a nice set of matched gauges, 7,300 miles on it since it's been done. I like the eight ball shifter. You got to push in on the eight, you know, to get it out of park. It looks like a stick shift, but it's an automatic. You got some speakers. We'll show you the stereo in a minute. Nice carpet and mats, and we got seat belts. Uh, nice reclining bucket seats. And uh, not quite enough room uh, for rear passengers, so they've got some storage. You want to throw a couple suitcases or overnight bags. If you're going somewhere, you can do that. Uh, now, up above, it's got a really cool headliner. It's got the, uh, the eight embossed here with this really neat pattern. And all, all the upholstery work's all done really nice. It's all wrapped really well. So here's the stereo that we talked about. Uh, yeah, one little electric wiper motor for a little windshield. A uh, nice Lacara leather-wrapped wheel on a tilt column. And I thought the starter was kind of cool. You give it your power by turning that on, and then you have a push button that starts it up. Kind of cool. Nice polished chrome column, polished gas pedal. So the hood, the compartment uh, panels come off with a little bit of work, so we'll do our best to sneak in here and see what the motor is all about. But it is a very spunky 350 motor. Uh, it's got an Edelbrock on top with a polished aluminum intake, MSD ignition, uh, polished alternator. It's got a match set of polished uh, valve covers and uh, plug wire holders. You got the nice uh, billet dipstick, firewall smooth and painted. Let's see what we can find on the other side. Does have a set of coated headers. We have a chrome fuel pump. Looks like a polished water pump. There's an, a, a polished uh, radiator up there with an electric fan, matching uh, style dipstick for the transmission. So that's your motor compartment. Tell you what, I'm six foot tall and I'm very comfortable in this car. Seats feel great. Yeah, this thing looks totally different out in the daylight. It really pops. Spunky. So I just noticed in the back there are two more speakers. So it has four speakers all together. Uh, there's a little flap that lifts up and back. That's where your battery is at. Like I said, there's a terminal underneath in case the doors were shut and it was dead. You can still get in the car. Um, there is no trunk on the outside. So another reason why it's handy to have the space inside. Bottom line, it's a very well-built hot rod. <clears throat> very affordable. I might have to. Flip the lever up. Anyway, very affordable, very cool looking hot rod. It's probably one of the least expensive cars I have in my inventory, and probably the car that's going to turn more heads than just about anything I have in my inventory. So, a lot of car for the money. Uh, go to volocars.com. Uh, that's where the salesman can help answer your questions. They can help get this delivered. They can help you finance it at volocars.com. If you enjoy these videos, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click on the bell icon. You'll be the first to see the next one posted. Thanks for watching.